Welcome back to the channel, hope you're doing well wherever you are. So in today's video, I will be listing what I personally believe to be are the top 10 must have plugins for any WooCommerce store. So if you're using WooCommerce to sell physical or maybe even digital products on your store, these plugins I believe are the ones you need to enhance both the functionality and design of your store. Three quick things to mention before we begin. Number one is that this list is going to be completely subjective on my own personal experience. I'm pretty sure there's some awesome plugins for WooCommerce out there that I've never even heard of. Now, number two is that most of the plugins I will use in this list are going to be free of charge. You don't have to pay for them. They do have paid versions that offer extra functionality and features, but the free versions of these plugins are good enough to provide the core functionality of the plugin. There will be two plugins that you will have to pay for uh, if you intend to use them. And number three is that wherever possible, I'll give you a very, very quick tour of how the plugin works behind the scenes to give you a better idea of whether or not it's a plugin that you'd like to use. So without wasting any more time, Let's get right into it. The first plugin on this list is definitely a must have, and it's going to be the WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery Plugin uh, by Cartflows Inc. And I'm pretty sure this must have happened to you before. Maybe you went to an online store, you added an item to your cart, but you didn't actually check out. You may have gotten an email maybe three hours later, or maybe even the next day from that store saying, hey, we noticed you came to our store, you added this item to your cart, but you didn't complete the checkout process. Can we help you? Something like that. You could create that kind of effect on your own store by making use of this plugin. So this plugin can actually track users who come to your store, add items to their cart, but don't actually check out. And then with this plugin, you can send follow-up emails and try to entice them to come back to your store and complete the purchase. So let me quickly show you how it works behind the scenes. When you install and you activate the plugin, you'll find it on our WooCommerce cart abandonment. By default, you have three sample email templates. You could activate all of them. So the first one in here will send 30 minutes after they left your website. The next one will be one day after, and then the third one will be three days later. You could, of course, edit each one of these default emails. So you could do things like change the template name, the subject, the contents of the email, and then you could even change when you want the email to be sent. Let me give you a very, very quick tip. For your third and final email, I would highly recommend that you attach a coupon, kind of like maybe like a 10%, 15% discount because it's your basically your last attempt to get the customer to come back to your store and complete the purchase. So right in here, on the third uh, email template, you have this create coupon option. Simply click in there, and this plugin will then tell you, okay, what kind of coupon would you want to offer? A percentage discount or maybe a fixed card discount. You could set that 10% and then you could fill out the other fields and then update the changes. And this plugin will automatically create a coupon for you and send that coupon to the customer in a last ditch effort to get them to come back to your store and complete the sale. So I would highly, highly recommend this plugin to boost sales on your store. The next plugin on this list is an absolute no-brainer, especially if you're selling physical products on your store, and that's going to be the Yeast WooCommerce order and shipment tracking. Obviously, you want your customers to be able to track the shipment status of the products that they've bought on your store. Now, to use this plugin, it's very, very, very easy. I've actually uh, demonstrated how to use the plugin in my latest WooCommerce tutorial. It's titled Complete WooCommerce Tutorial 2022, where I actually build a full WooCommerce store. You can check out the video. It's going to be on the 4 hour, 15 minute mark. I have all the timestamps in here to guide you through that particular tutorial. But in this tutorial, I show you how to make use of the plugin. So if you want to learn how to make use of this plugin, definitely check out the video. I'll have the link to the video in the box below. The next plugin is going to be the WooCommerce PDF invoices and packing slips. And as the name suggests, it is a plugin that allows you to print out PDF versions of your invoices and packing slips. To be honest, it's not necessarily a must have plugin on your store. You could do without it, but I do like to list this plugin because it offers your store that professional look and feel. So let me quickly show you how it works behind the scenes. When you install and you activate the plugin, you will see PDF invoices on the WooCommerce. You want to go to the Documents tab first of all, and then in here you could decide, okay, am I working with an invoice or a pack and slip? And then you could choose, okay, where would you like to attach the invoice to? Do you want to attach it to a new order, a canceled order, maybe a refunded order? And then down in here, you have other options like, okay, do you want to customize the, the invoice? Do you want to display the email address, display the phone number, things like that? The same goes uh, as well with the pack and slip also. If you choose pack and slip in here, you will have access to things like, okay, do you want to display the billing address on that pack and slip? Would you like to display the email address? And then on the right-hand side in here, you'll have a sample of how the pack and slip and PDF uh, invoices would look like. So, so 
again it's not a must have plugin on your website but it's free of charge you don't have, you don't have to pay for it plus it also offers your store that professional look and feel so i would highly recommend that you check out the plugin the next plugin is going to be the ti woocommerce wishlist by template invaders and i love this plugin because it allows your customers to create wish lists on your website so maybe they came to your store there's a particular product that they want to buy but maybe they don't have the money at the time to buy that product they can add the product to their wish list and then they could come back later to your store when they have the money go to the wishlist page and then simply buy the product from there or they could even share that wishlist on social media maybe on facebook share with their friends and family hoping that one of them would come to your store and buy the product for them so it's definitely a functionality i'd love for you to have on your store i've also shown you how to make use of this particular plugin in my woocommerce tutorial as well Check the link in the box below if you want to learn how to use this plugin on your store. Next plugin is going to be the first of two that you'll have to pay for if you tend to use it, and that's going to be the WooCommerce Smart Refunder. It costs $79, but it is worth every penny. It's basically a plugin, as the name suggests, that allows you to create a refund system on your store. Whether you like it or not, there will always be one customer that would want to uh, return the product back to you. Maybe they didn't like the product, maybe there was problems with shipping, and they want a refund. So with this plugin, you can actually issue refunds to your customers very, very easily. You could even issue partial refunds where you offer them a discount or maybe you do things like, hey, we could exchange, you return this product to us and we'll send you a different one, things like that. So the plugin offers you the opportunity to create a very effective refund system on your store. And that's very, very important because if you're able to satisfy a customer with the refund process, that might be enough for them to give you a second chance, come back to your store and buy something else. I would highly, highly recommend that you check out this WooCommerce Smart Refunder plugin for your WooCommerce store. Next plugin is going to be the Store Customizer, formerly known as the Woo Customizer plugin. And this is a plugin that would allow you to customize the default text on your WooCommerce pages. So as an example, when you install and you activate the plugin, you will find it under Appearance, Customize. You will see Store Customizer right here. You click in there and then you could choose which page you want to customize. As an example, if I wanted to customize the checkout page, I could come in here right now, do things like change the uh, coupon text if I wanted to. I could change the label text if I wanted to. I could go back, let's say go to the cart page as an example. I could remove the coupons form. Maybe I don't want customers to use coupons on my store. I could remove the product links. I could show product stock, things like that. I could also go to my WooCommerce product page as well. And I could choose do things like remove the product breadcrumbs, remove the image zoom as well, remove the image slider, determine how many images I want to show in the gallery section, things like that. So it's a very simple yet a very powerful plugin for customizing all these little things on your WooCommerce store. So definitely check it out. Next plugin is a no brainer and that's going to be the Stripe plugin for WooCommerce. And yes, I know a lot of people do have access to PayPal, but not everybody does. Besides, even people who have access to PayPal, some of them may not want to use PayPal to pay you. You could offer them an alternative and that would be Stripe. There are many plugins for Stripe, but I would recommend you get the one directly from WooCommerce themselves. You can go to woocommerce.com forward slash products forward slash Stripe. You get the plugin, it's free of charge, install, activate the plugin, and you'd offer your customers an alternative, alternative to pay you uh, instead of PayPal. Now, if you want to learn how to use the plugin, I did use the plugin on my WooCommerce tutorial once again, so be sure to check it out if you want to learn how to install and work with Stripe on your WooCommerce store. Next plugin is going to be the product add-ons for WooCommerce by Ecowebs, and I love this plugin because it allows you to offer your customers additional services and additional information about the products that they're trying to buy. So say, for example, I wanted my customers to be able to indicate whether or not they want me to gift wrap the product that they bought on my store. I could make, I could offer them that service via this plugin. So for example, I've installed, I've activated the plugin. Now, if I go to products, you'll see custom product add-ons in there. You click in there and then from here, you can add your form that will contain the new fields or services that you want to offer uh, to your customer on that particular product. So in here, I've created a service called gift wrap. How did I do this? Well, I do have the radio group in here. I simply added the radio group and chose two options. Yes and no, as the two options for the particular form. And now if I want to attach this particular service to a product, I can go to my products tab right here and then choose any product. So say for example, the Lorex watch, right? 
I wanted to offer this service to this particular product, I can come in here right now, go all the way down here and you will see custom product options. I click in there and now I have the gift wrap form selected. And then from here, I can simply go ahead now to update the product real quick. And then let's go ahead now to view the product. So what the customer will now see is when they want to add the watch to their cart, they have the option now to have it either gift wrapped or not. So this is just one example of what you could do with this particular plugin. I love it. It offers you so many more options as it states, as it states on the on the website. It's a lightweight WooCommerce product add-on plugin that makes adding custom fields to your WooCommerce product page simpler. And of course, you can read more about how it's useful and trust me, it will blow your mind. If you don't have this plugin installed on your site, you're definitely missing out. The next plugin is the second one that you'll have to pay for if you intend to use it and that's going to be the Automate Woo plugin by WooCommerce and yes, it costs about $100 but trust me, it is worth every penny. This is easily the most powerful automation tool for WooCommerce and the way it works is that you have these things called triggers or rules and actions. You can read more about them on the plugin page but to give you more examples of how it actually works, things you could do with the plugin, you could do things like send up follow-up emails to customers who come to your site and they didn't complete the checkout process, kind of like the abandonment recovery plugin we talked about a bit earlier. You do have that service with this particular plugin. You could do things like send out SMS notifications to your customers. You could send them personalized emails on their birthdays. Uh, you could add card expiry notifications, personalized coupons for them. You could offer the refer a friend service. So many things you could do with this plugin. It's basically automation on steroids. I love this plugin. I know it's expensive, but if there's any plugin that you should invest your money in, I would recommend Automate Woo as the number one choice. Now, if you don't have the money for this particular plugin, you can check out Uncanny Automator. It's nowhere near as powerful as the Automate Woo plugin, but you do have some options for WooCommerce. I've actually done a uh, tutorial on how to use the plugin here on YouTube. I'll have the link to, to this particular video in the box below if you're interested in learning more how to use Uncanny Automator. But listen, if you have the money, Again, I will strongly recommend you go with Automate Woo. Last plugin on the list is going to be the Checkout Fields Editor by Theme High, and I love this plugin because it allows you to customize the checkout fields on the billing page and shipping page as well. So to give you a very quick idea of how it works, I've installed and activated the plugin. When you do the same, you will see checkout form under WooCommerce. You go in there, and for me right now, under billing fields, I could do things like edit the uh, first name field, last name field. I could remove the field if I wanted to. I could even add my own custom field as well. I'll simply click on add field, come in here, choose the name, the type of the field. Maybe it's a password field, phone field, things like that. And I could save and then add to my field. I could do the exact same thing for the shipping fields in here as well. So definitely it's a plugin that would allow you to customize the checkout process for your customers. And one thing I know is that you want to make the checkout process as easy and as seamless as possible possible for your customer. So by making use of this plugin, by removing unnecessary fields from the billing page and shipping page, you can make the checkout uh, process a lot faster and better for your customers. So I would highly recommend you check out the checkout field editor by Theme High. So there it is guys, my top 10 must have plugins for WooCommerce and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do give it a thumbs up, share the video with anyone whom you feel might benefit and of course let me know what your thoughts are. Are there any particular plugins that you've used for WooCommerce before that you feel should be on this list? Maybe you've used a few of these plugins before and you don't like them, I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comment section below and as always stay safe out there. I'll talk to you next time. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell so that you're notified whenever I upload a new tutorial. My name is Alex, it's been a pleasure, stay safe out there and I'll talk to you next time. Cheers.